I've already shuffled and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy. We'll find out what's coming up. We'll take a look and see what the challenge is going to be. And then we'll see what the outcome is. So, Libra. I hope I said Libra. I just finished Leo, so I just want to clarify. This is for Libra. So, Libra. The recent past energy between you and your person. We got this magician, and it's with the Ace of Pentacles. Now, the Ace of Pentacles is actually a card that often signifies some type of new beginning or a great expectation. This card it reminds us that we have the power to make a difference in our lives and in, 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 in any other aspect of the world if we simply try. Just know that you will not have it all handed to you on a plate, but you have the potential to have that plate and a lot of what's on it if you do the magic yourself, because the magician is all about action. So, if you don't know what to do, then just do something, because anything is going to be better than nothing. Yeah, if you don't try, you won't get. Yeah, if you don't do anything, you'll get nothing. So, it's with this beautiful Ace of Pentacles, which is actually another card about enjoying new beginnings on several levels possibly and these will be very positive new beginnings you could find yourself feeling optimistic or be hopeful about the future yeah with this ace of pentacles it's showing that things should be going really well you could be starting something new this could be in the area of work or personally, but either way, it's a really, really good thing. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles. So, basically, the recent past energy between you and your person, magician, clarified by this Ace of Pentacles. So, what I'm getting for a lot of you, Libras, is that the, your person that you're dealing with I don't know if you know this, but they manifested this connection with you. Yeah, they probably plotted it out and did a lot of planning and was very strategic. That's what the magician can be about. And you probably don't even know it, because uh, the magician can have a lot of tricks up their sleeve, and they don't, they don't let anyone in on it. Your person manifested the connection with you. Magician is about manifestation powers. Yeah, and it, it it's interesting because it looks like Libra, you you wanted this new beginning with this person that you're involved with. Yeah. This could have been a reconnection. The two of you reconnected. Or if you were already in a relationship with this person, maybe it rose, it, it took off to the next level. New heights, better understanding. Yeah, so they manifested you and this was a new beginning that you wanted. Yeah. You wanted, you were, you were in the, in the phase where you wanted a new beginning and you could have had this person on your mind and they manifested you so you two were kind of like mirroring each other when it came to thinking about each other new beginnings for both of you you wanted this and they wanted you so yeah now we move on over, we take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you. Now we got this Five of Cups and it's with Judgment. Now the Five of Cups can be a card that reminds us that where we put our focus has a great deal, 
has a great deal to do with the quality of our lives and how well they work for us. So coming up, you might find yourself trying to choose what you're going to focus on because the implication could be really clear. Are you going to cry over spilled milk or are you going to focus on the milk you still have and get on with things? What I'm trying to say is that you're going to have to watch where you put your focus and you're going to need to make sure it's for your highest good. Because with the Five of Cups, there's some disappointment here. Now, it's with judgment, which is a card about jumping to conclusions, decisions, and of course, judgments that are made too quick, too hastily. And if you, if you know you're prone to doing this, it may be a sign that you might want to slow down. Give things more thought, give people more chances. This could be a time of spiritual awakening. So basically coming up, Five of Cups clarified by this judgment card for you and your person. Yeah, like I said, you wanted this new beginning with this person. They reached out to you, they manifested you, and everything was great. Because both of these, Ace and Magician, they're about beautiful new beginnings. Both of you wanted it, but coming up, it, I'm getting that a lot of you... Libras are, are going to be disappointed. There's some disappointment about something that's going on in the relationship or the connection. Yeah, something is very disappointing. Because this Five of Cups is about, like I said, disappointment. And, trying to, and you trying to figure out where to put your focus. Should you focus on the positive or should you focus on the negative? Now, because it's with Judgment card here, um, you could be jumping to a lot of conclusions, or your person could be very judgmental, or you could be judgmental, extremely judgmental. This could be you or your person. Somebody's being really judgmental. There's disappointment. Something happened. It was beautiful. They they manifested you and you wanted this person to. But now there's some disappointment and somebody's being really, really judgmental. Jumping to conclusions and decisions. And it's causing a make or break in this connection, in this manifestation. So that's what we got coming up now. Let's take a look and see what the challenge is. We got the moon card and so with the page of pentacles. Now the moon card can be about feeling psychic, intuitive. It's going to be important for you to trust your instincts, your impressions, even if you're not sure where it's coming from. Also, not that you need to be mistrusting, but it's going to be helpful for you to realize that when you get the moon card, it's possible that all is not what it seems. And if you feel you cannot trust someone, then you probably cannot. So go with your gut instincts. And if you're waiting on an answer from someone, unfortunately, it will probably take longer than you would like for it to. So you might have to try to stay patient. Now, it's with the Page of Pentacles. Now, this card can be about boredom in some ways. You could be tempted to say or do things to shake things and people up for a little bit of excitement. You might want to rethink the impulse, find a better use of your energy. We all know that excitement, it can be created. Now the Page of Pentacles, it's a great energy to support you when you got tedious work to get accomplished. So, just know it gives you the focus and the backbone and the will to stick to a task that's not necessarily glamorous or fun. So your challenge between you and your person, moon card clarified by this page of pentacles. So, yeah, I'm getting that. You might start to feel like 
your person is holding back or there's some deception, you might feel like something's hidden. Yeah. Like too much is unknown. Something is hidden. Hidden. Yeah. And this can cause things to get heated up or uncomfortable. It could be an emotional time for you and your person. Yeah, you feel like they're holding something, they're wearing a ma holding back or they're wearing a mask. You just think that they're, maybe they're not saying how they really feel, something like that. You might feel like they're secrets. Uh, but it's with the Page of Pentacles. So yeah, you, you're disappointed. Somebody's being really judgmental. You're feeling that there's... There your person's wearing a mask or holding back, not saying how they really feel. And because it's with the Page of Pentacles, it's showing that, um... Hmm, the relationship is... It's showing that it, it might be losing its luster. Yeah. It's losing that spark and excitement that the two of you had about this new beginning. Yeah, it's dissipating the excitement or the thrill of it all. So, yeah. That's the challenge now. What's the outcome? Page of Swords. Clarified by the Hermit. Page of Swords, it can sometimes stand for an actual person in your life. If this is the case, it will represent a person who's younger than you. Because when you hear the word page in the tarot, that means student, youth, immaturity, somebody younger than you. Um, it can indicate that a message is coming in. This person will want to reach out to you. They've got something to say. Now, in this instance, because it's a page and he has a huge sword in his hand, it tells us that this person could be trying too hard, pushing too fast, or it could feel like they're stepping on your toes. So, you might have to study the body language of this person and consider how well you do or do not accept constructive criticism or just criticism. Now, it's with the Hermit card, which can be a spiritual card. It could have something to do with institutions, large organizations, everything from a bank to an entire Christian church. It's kind of like the Strength card in the tarot. You could feel like you're in the frame of mind where you need some time alone. Don't be afraid to take it, even if it's just a five-minute walk around the house so that you can clear your head. Yeah, this Hermit card can be also a card about trying really hard to do the right thing. But you want to make sure that doing the right thing includes doing what's right for you personally and not just worrying about the other person. So, the outcome page of swords, clarified by Hermit. So, it looks like you realize you need some time alone away from this person so that you can clear your mind without having their energy influencing you when you're near them. So you spend some time alone to get rid of some baggage and decide where you're going from here. Trying to figure out what you're going to do. Yeah. Now it looks like because it's with this page of swords you might come to a conclusion that this person is um, is not right for you. They're they're on the immature side, and they do just things that you don't appreciate or understand. Because there's some level of immaturity here. Page of Swords can be about immaturity. They just do silly stuff. They, this person might keep tabs on you, or maybe you found out this is what they did. Because you, you know they manifested you. So, they might have stalked you, or 
did a lot of watching you, could have found out. Now you just realize, oh, that's a little bit creepy. Maybe that's why the moon card is here. The moon card is mysterious, it's creepy, it's strange, <laughs> it's the unknown, but feeling psychic and intuitive, intuitive and not knowing where it's coming from. So, anyway, you feel like this person is too immature for you. And so, like I said, you took some time to rethink things and clear your mind and it looks like that's what you come up with. And there may be some conflict because the Page of Swords, they, they like to bring some drama. So, Libra, that is the reading that I have for you. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they will not resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How you see yourself? Best case scenario and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks? There's also going to be a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Libra, thank you so very much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there. It's going to pass, and we'll all get through this, so stay strong and take good care of yourselves. Come back and check out the next Libra reading, which will be in about another four or five days. Just in case this does not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Yeah. But keep in mind that if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, uh, the other person in the reading could actually be a friend, could be a family member or a situation. And yes, the roles can be switched. Their roles can be reversed. They can, yes. Yeah. Take the reading for however it resonates because, like I said, these are general readings. They will not resonate with everyone. They're not personal readings. So, Libra, I can never say it enough. I thank you so very much for watching. Thanks for all my new subscribers and my old subscribers. You guys have really been uh, coming in for me. It helps to grow my channel. I really, really appreciate all of you. So, thank you so much. I hope you have a great day. I hope to see you at the next reading. And take care.